Welcome to my Age of Ultron, Avengers Age of Ultron movie review. Um, leave your thoughts on it down in the comments, and I hope you enjoy this review. Of course, Robert Downey Jr.'s greatest Tony Stark. I've talked about this so much, I'm not going to talk about it again. And, of course, Captain America in this movie is awesome. Of course, he's awesome. And this movie also did a very good job setting up Civil War. This movie had a bit of setup. Um, some of the setup was good. Some of the setup was bad. The Civil War setup, I enjoyed that. I think that was good with the log scene with Steve and, uh, and Tony. I think that was a very good scene. I like that. And this movie was uh, kind of a setup to uh, Thor Ragnarok. It was terrible at setting that up. The scene with Thor and that, the Infinity Stones, that did not work and it did not feel like it should belong in this movie. But Thor, I liked him a lot in this movie. Um, he's still kind of, uh, he's not the best character in the movie, but he's okay. I, I guess Bruce Banner was pretty cool in this movie. He was, uh, Mark Ruffalo plays him good. But when he becomes the Hulk, it is so badass. I love Hulk more than I do Bruce Banner. And I like Black Widow, too. She was also played beautifully. But the romance aspect, um, not so much. I didn't like that. Um, they should have had uh, Natasha be with Steve. Instead, they set that up in Winter Soldier just so they could ruin it in this movie. Vision, I really liked him in the movie. He was pretty cool, Vision. Um, not the best character, but he was pretty awesome. And the scene where Vision uh, lifted Thor's hammer, that was so funny. And another thing about this movie, this movie is so extremely funny. It's such a fun movie. It's They, they picked the perfect director for both this one and the first movie. It is so fun, this movie. Such a bag of joy. Um, it's just so funny. And Scarlet Witch, she was awesome. I loved her in this movie. She was a very good character. I really liked her, especially the scene when Quicksilver died, uh, when she just leashed out all of her energy. That was pretty cool. But Quicksilver, I actually liked this version of Quicksilver. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, yeah, I liked him. Uh, but his death, I don't think Quicksilver should have died, honestly. I think it was a bad choice killing him off and not somebody else. Because... Uh, they had been setting up Hawkeye's death the whole movie, with him saving that kid and with his family and everything. So I think they should have actually killed Hawkeye also, because I think Hawkeye's actually a pretty boring character. No disrespect to Jeremy Renner. He is a good Hawkeye, in my opinion, but just the character of Hawkeye isn't that cool, in my opinion. So they should have killed him off instead. And I also think Hawkeye's death would have made a bigger Im impact in the movie and on the team. And I would rather see Quicksilver return for another movie than Hawkeye. But now it's time to talk about Ultron himself, the main villain of this movie. And Ultron was a lot less overpowered in this movie than he is in the comics. In the comics, Ultron is actually very, very, very powerful. And I'm kind of mixed in this movie if I like Ultron or not. I think he was kind of... I mean, he had some cool quotes. He said some cool things. But his plan was to rid humanity. That's insane. You that, you can't just do that. But I think he was he was okay as a villain. I, uh, I'm leaning a bit more towards the good side. I actually think Ultron was pretty good in this movie as a villain. Leave your thoughts on Age of Ultron down in the comics, and uh, be sure to tell me what you think about Age of Ultron. If you like this video, give it a like. If you didn't like this video, give it a like. Um, if you didn't uh, like this video, subscribe. And if you liked this video, subscribe. Thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.